Microsoft, let's take Windows back to basics in 2018. Now, I'm what you would consider a long time Windows user since Windows 95 when I had my first Windows computer back in 1997. And prior to that, a year earlier, I had a MS DOS computer that my dad brought from work, old computer, what have you. And <laughs> I was just messing around with a DOS computer and doing some stuff with the command line, basic stuff like directory and finding programs and games. And pretty much all I found on it was Monopoly. So that's what I pretty much played most of the time. And anything for school back then, I would just use a word processor. But my first actual computing experience at home was with Windows. Obviously at school, elementary school coming up, first grade on up. They had Apple computers where I learned about Oregon Trail <laughs> and learned some basic things about a computer. But what I actually got to experiment with at home was Windows 95. And that was my first introduction into a home PC for real, for real. So, that being said, I would like to see Microsoft get back to basics in 2018 simply because Windows Phone no longer exists it will no longer exist and there's no incentive for the universal windows platform etc beyond certain security things which they can take the you know uh the fat 32 or you know 64 bit 32 x 86 whatever you want to talk about it those kind of programs and they can come up with some kind of verification program for that and maybe transition it into something more secure similar to what Apple does with their approval process and that would be a great improvement because the basis from Windows 8 on up was hey we want to be able to have your mobile experience built into to the computer as well so you can have that continuity in terms of having those flat displays with the I don't even know what they call them, Metro apps, Metro window type of things. And as a user of Windows 8.1 right now, because it came with my HP stream I bought about a year ago, and I had no plans of updating to that spyware known as Windows 10. I've really, actually I don't use the Metro. I may have clicked on something a couple times in terms of weather, but I've never clicked on the store because I don't want to download anything in terms of those Windows apps. I've heard bad things in terms of nothing good in that store and I'm fine with the x86 type of apps no issues with it so it's pretty much a useless piece of software for me in terms of that and I think I should just get rid of it because they have issues with double settings apps which is really irritating to me because sometimes I go between the control panel or the metro settings and I guess they're trying to Put it all into the metro settings nowadays but whatever just just come up with a standardized settings and leave it at that and then you hear from other people at least when they deal with windows 10 they have drivers issues where certain things aren't recognized and then you have windows trying to pull something slick saying hey new processors new cpus processors won't get the best uh type of speeds if they don't use windows 10 and I'm like, come on, just take it back to basics, Microsoft. I consider Windows a canvas of creativity where you do your, even your business creativity in terms of coming up with documents, creating emails. And when you go even a step further, we have Android Studio, if that's, that's your thing, and Adobe, and video editing programs. It's just a blank canvas where you can do your thing at and then you can choose to connect to the outside world if you want to but Windows 10 see when you connect to the internet like you have to deal with Microsoft you can't just connect within your little range of apps that you want to download and have control over that Microsoft is wants to know everything you do and like yo that's I mean we've come to accept that with smartphones that you're giving up a certain level of privacy but I'm from the time where your computer is your sanctuary you're creating creative canvas 
and then you can step out beyond that if you want to by clicking on Internet Explorer back in the day. Okay, now we're ready to connect to the outside. Or you want to chat with somebody, use AIM. Now you're ready to connect to the outside. But you don't necessarily have to. And you can still maintain a level of privacy back then. But now, Microsoft wants to know everything. And that's turning people off. And then you have those Metro Universal Windows apps that turn people off. And now since Windows Phone is going to fail, non-existent, they're not going to do anything further with it. Go ahead and get rid of that. Just update Windows 10 to be an improved Windows 7 layout and go from there. Let's keep it simple in 2018. No nigging for all that extra. Just get back to the basics. And I think you find a lot more success because what they're trying to do is play the Apple game and that Android game where they have all this tons of information about you and say they have better information than Google and Apple has. I'm like, <laughs> Okay, well, you need to know who uses your computers, which is business people and personal people that just want to use it as a, you know, sanctuary device, private device that you can connect to the outside world if you want to. So if you're going to do that, make that entire spyware te telemetry thing optional like it's been in the past. So let's take it back to basics, Microsoft. I think you find your groove again and you'll find your success. Because right now you're trying to strong arm people into Windows 10 and all this te telemetry. That's just not going to work. You're going you're gonna to lose. Play your game. And if you want to get into the modern space, come up with your apps for Android and come up with your web apps. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. But hey, but don't take anything away from us desktop people that still want that creative canvas, private creative canvas, and still have those office apps that are not web-based let's do what we do too so we can create and just be at peace so no one has to know every little thing you're doing who knows maybe come up with some great idea you don't know what microsoft is going to do with that data is it going to get into the wrong hands and someone steals your ideas when you create it because when you're a creative person you create things which the desktop is for because if you want a consumption device you have a phone and tablet etc you can lose out on some ideas. Who knows? Even if Microsoft is spying on you and taking ideas so they can know what to add to their programs in the future. So let's just get back to basics in 2018 Microsoft and I, and I assume that you will find success back in this desktop world again. That's just my take. Iceberg Jim out. Deuces.